We have an emergency right now. That right there is a quarter of a French press. Not enough for Ben and me. I feel like I should give him a full cup and maybe I'll take a half cup of coffee because I had coffee already this morning at my meeting. Let's share it, babes, you and me. Okay. We will fight for together. But I have to confess that I was trying to think of ways that I could get more coffee this morning so that I wouldn't have to share. I know this way is better, but sometimes you just don't want to share. It's good to share, kids. Eden and I are off to spend some time together. I've been feeling that I want to spend more time with my teenage daughters than I have been because I think they're at an age where they could really benefit from that one-on-one -on -one time. I think we decided, or maybe it was more me, <laughs> decided to go to Carabella Coffee and get something cold to drink and then we'll see from there. Now we're off to PetSmart. I told Eden um, I wanted to get get her something for Leia because Leia is our dog and she's been a little sick as of late, but she's getting better. But that's kind of been a hard thing on Eden and and Leia. And I wanted to bless her by getting something that she really want wanted to get. Eden wanted to get Leia a harness because we go running with her three times a week. Does it fit? We just got back from our outing. Had a good time just talking without distractions, which is really cool. Glad I did it. Looks good. Oh. <laughs> we have an important family meeting now because we have a big adventure coming up. All right, let's go guys. Come on. Friday, I talked to the park ranger at Mount Rainier. And he said that you guys are allowed to climb the mountain. But we have like three weeks to get ready for that. So, there's a few things I want to talk about. We're going to do a lot of shopping, we're going to be spending some money. So first off, I want to find out who really wants to do this. That is Mount Rainier. 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 <laughs> That is Mount Rainier. That's Mount Rainier. That is Mount Rainier. That is Mount Rainier. That is Mount Rainier. That is Mount Rainier. And that is Rainier named after Mount Rainier. Crap, Cam would be so pissed if I wake him up. Hey, close the door. Oh, 
Our family used to live two and a half hours from this mountain. We've hiked around it five times, but my favorite experiences actually have nothing to do with hiking around the mountain. They have to do with climbing up the mountain. And it's actual mountain climbing. You're climbing on glaciers, you're using ropes and harnesses and ice axes and crampons, which are the spikes that you attach to your feet. For years, the most amazing experiences I've ever had are standing above the cloud line, watching the sunrise from about 12,000 feet on Rainier summit climb trips. And I've always dreamed of taking my kids up there. Well, this year we're heading out to Washington and we don't have time to do the Wonderland Trail because it takes about two weeks. So I thought this is the year that I'm gonna give my kids the chance to climb this mountain with me if they wanna come. This is all my mountaineering gear. Now we start the difficult task of buying gear for four kids and training for the next three weeks. The only reason why we're only training for three weeks is because we've been running as a family three times a week for the last two years. Otherwise, most people train for a year or multiple years just to climb this mountain. We'll keep you updated on our journey for preparation. Right now we're shooting for about August 7th. And we're gonna have to drive across the country to get there. I'm really looking forward to it. It's also like a big challenge for all the prep that goes into it. We just announced to the kids that we're moving to a five day a week training schedule. We're gonna be doing a lot of stairs and a lot of leg stuff to get ready. Because up there it's really life and death and if you're not trained right, it's not just that you have a bad time, it's that it gets actually kind of dangerous. I can't wait. It's so beautiful up there on the glacier. We're going on our date pretty soon. Eden's making dinner, but we have to do one very important thing before we leave. That is such a good roast. Look at those colors. Uh, can't wait for tomorrow morning. All right, Cammy. What time is it? It's time for Q and A. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this you crazy mother. Okay, so we're looking for one to two sentence answers. Umo Kajan says, Ben, how do you feel about sleeves? That's a great question. John, I don't know what kind of sleeves you're talking about. If you're talking about sleeves like on a shirt, or if you're talking about sleeves like tattoos. But it's an easy answer because I'm mostly opposed to either of those. I love tank tops because I love wearing as little clothes as possible and I hate sweaty clothes. With tattoos, I don't mind sleeves on other people, but I get tattoos as kind of a memorial, as a way to tell a story with my body about where I've come from and where I've been and God's faithfulness in my life. So I don't really like the idea of taking up that much real estate with just kind of like a beautiful scene, unless it had a lot of meaning for me. So. I suppose it's possible. You know, my leg is kind of like a whole leg sleeve. This is a separate tattoo, that's a separate tattoo, that's a separate tattoo. 
Maggie asks what we both like and dislike about homeschooling. I like to be around my kids all day. I like the fact that education serves our family, not that our family serves education. I dislike not having more people in their lives teaching them things. I dislike what it means to be a homeschooler in our culture. It like, what a pain. On Instagram, Gisela asks, when you both as couples don't agree on something, how do you guys deal with it? Who has the last word, husband or wife? Gisela, oh, I can't believe you're asking me this because people don't like this answer. I'll say it then. How do we deal with it? We talk it through as much as we can without being super charged about it. Who has the last word? Uh, ben does. Because someone's gotta have the last word and we believe that that's the role of the husband. That's not popular. <laughs> this does not mean I'm better than her. No. It doesn't mean she's worse than me. It doesn't mean I'm more valuable. It really means one thing. I have the most responsibility over the family. So if something goes wrong, it's actually on me. Yep. Um, and the person with the most responsibility has to have the most authority. And sometimes Ben will defer to me and say, hey, I want you to have the last word on this. But that's him choosing to let me have the last word. We make most of our decisions whenever possible together. Dirty Toes Hair Bows says, do you attend corporate church regularly or do you see it as obsolete? Are those our only two options? Uh, we went to like a mega church, which we don't really consider our church. We more consider it like going to a show. We feel a void in our lives with that. Yeah. But no, the church at all is not obsolete. It's more important than ever what exactly it looks like and where it's at. We, we don't know. We've tried a lot of things. We do have a lot of Christian community. And community and family and relationships are non-negotiable for us. Nicole and Alan ask, why do you pick a French press over a coffee pot? Because French press coffee is better. Emily asks, do you get recognized in public by strangers? And if so, how do you feel about that? Uh, we saw you at Chick-fil-A last night and it made me wonder, why didn't you say hi? Aww. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. It happens yeah. and it's weird. It's weird for us. I'm sure it's weird for other people. At the end of the day, we've chosen to put our lives more publicly out there and we know it gets confusing for you guys too and how to relate to us. Okay. That's all the time for Q&A today. Thank you so much for your questions. Sorry if not all the questions made it in the final edit. It gets kind of long sometimes, but please keep on posting them. Time for Q&A. I know, I know. Thank you for holding me accountable. Okay.